Yes. <laughs> okay. This has to pop in kind of perfectly. It doesn't take too long. But, and then I also use my old one because sometimes the light does come through. a little bit easier lean over there we go <laughs> off my glasses well you know you might look at this and say lolly it's a lot of work well there is a price for the freedom and the freedom of not spending money in rent and the freedom of getting to go where I want to go and the freedom of having my suitcase always packed and I can drive wherever I want I think the real freedom is not having to pay rent for me. Yeah. And I get a different view out my window all the time. So yeah, today, oh my gosh, today we had to run around to find water to fill our gallon jugs because the Walmart here, the main Walmart, the machine, the water machines broke. I talked to a couple of the um, employees. I remember them. I mean, they're really nice. They remember me too from like seven months ago. And I asked her, I said, so what's the deal? She goes, oh, I know. She goes, twice a day I tell them, why isn't the water machine? People are coming and trying to fill up their water. And I mean, it's like, you know, 30 people a day trying to come in, fill up water and leave upset because the machine is broke. So Paul and I had to, this morning we went to another Walmart, the other smaller Walmart. No, they didn't even have a machine. So they said, well, Basha's has one. So we went there, we got ripped off by some money. Didn't work well. They looked like they weren't even serviced. Finally, we went to Nash, um, Natural Grocers and Paul took them in and took all of them in while I waited and it made me realize that if you live in a house, you can just go like that and water comes down. It's called a faucet. It's a great invention, isn't it? Paul and I wasted how much gas, how much time running around just trying to find water. So there are ups and downs that I am seeing and I, I point them out. They're in my mind, they're pointed out and then I point them out to Paul. And then I point them out. I'll point them out to you. These are the differences. There's good and there's bad on both ends. Um, 
windows down. I wanted to show you how I do this. How do I handle the nighttime living in my minivan? I mean, every night I do this. My first step is deciding where I'm going to spend the night. Now, right now I am in a city. Yeah, I'm not always in a city. And there'll be, there'll be camping going on this summer. But right now we've been hanging out in the city and we're trying to acclimate, trying to get things done. And uh, so tonight we're going to sleep in a, a parking lot. And we have permission to do so. And we found ourselves a spot. And I'm going to bring all of my um, curtains down. I'm not going to go to bed yet, but this is how I get ready for the night. This is how I handle it. You know, a lot of people do wonder, well, what do you do at night? What's going on? Um, yeah, this is what, well, let me get this one down. Let's go. This just takes but a moment. Just a minute. There we go. There's that one. Paul's van, he's parked right beside me. We get this curtain down. And you'll see how even though the sun, the sun will go down probably, whoops, you can't see me. The sun will go down just a little bit. Let me turn this light on. Um, probably about an hour. See, I got a little bit of a, a light coming in here. Let me see if I can get rid of that. Because there's a light, a street light right there. And... It will come through tonight. And I've got a way to get rid of this. I just have to rework this. There we go. Okay. No big deal. Okay. <laughs> if I turn this off, look how dark this is. And this, and I'm, I'm parked in the sun, but let's get some lights going. No, red, no, at night I use red light. I'll turn better light on so you can see, but you can see, I mean, I can see what's going on now here, right? Let me get this down. Push this over here. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. And here's my bucket and my pee bottle because I'm done and I'm back here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in my front seat to get it out of my way back here because I'm gonna be inside my van for a while. And it just sits right there, it's easy. Let me get more lighting. This is the time that I turn on my fairy lights. There we go. It should be go right to where it was. This is red. This is my nighttime look. This is what this is what it looks like. Yeah. I can see everything wonderful. It is pretty it's pretty stark for the camera right here, actually. Yeah. But let me change it. A little bit better. <sighs> right here, we'll do this. There, better. Hey, <laughs> yeah. So this is my bedding here and blankets, pillows here. So today was a lot of fun. I'll just do a little catch up with you. Went to uh, Planet Fitness this morning and really worked out. And then we had to run around and find water. <laughs> and that took a while. And then um, we took Abby to the dog park. That was so sweet. It's a nice dog park. There's a lot of nice dogs there. They're not aggressive. Somebody's excited. And huh? I've just found um, Reno dog parks can be aggressive. And Tucson's very aggressive. Very aggressive dog parks. And then we went into the senior center and we had lunch. It was so nice.
Well, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to start getting a little bit darker. And for right now, I'm just going to like cozy in. I've been really working on getting my minivan straightened up to the max. Cleaned, put, making sure that everything has been put away each time. Each time. And the only thing out that I'm not really sure what to do with is I've still got some radishes. I've been eating some radishes. Here's something that I want to do. I want to redo my um, waste basket. What I've been trying to do in here with my secret life and my minivan, I've been trying to do everything right away. Like, don't wait. Because in this small space, if I don't, if I wait, I mean, I've just got stuff sitting around. I can relax when I know that everything has been done. I took the time today to shake out my, my towels. They're down. I have towels down here and I made sure that they're done. They're done. There's no, um, like, whoop, there's a little something, you know, I don't want crumbs, hair. Shaking out my towels is really like running a vacuum in a house. <laughs> I'm just shaking it out, right? So, this is what I do with my bucket. These are very cheap bags. Very thin, very cheap. But it works. Yeah. I take the time to make it look nice because I have to look at it. And at night, what I do is to get things out of the way. Because obviously, I need to sleep in this area. I, there's a place for everything. My garbage goes there. My water goes here. And my wipes are here. And when I start, like, I take off my neck gaiter and things, I put it right here. That way, in the morning, I don't have to think about, oh, what did I do with this? There's a special place for everything. This is where I put these things. Okay. Well, for right now, I'm just going to chill out. But I will come back to, I'll be washing my face and getting ready for bed. This is what I do at night. What I really like to do at night is I'm going to put on a movie. And what I do is I park my movie I set it right there where I can watch it. Or it runs up here. And I just sit here and watch a movie. Sometimes I'll edit a video, but I've got a movie going on. So I will mention right now, I'm in higher elevation. It's still taking a little while to get used to, especially after um, recovering from having a bad summer cold. It's a little bit of breathing issues when you're in higher elevation somebody asked me about that like what's up with the elevation thing well i think the air is thinner as you get up it gets thinner and thinner so um some people have trouble with it some people don't it just really depends some people never have an issue where was i at eight thousand when we first got here we went to this one area it was eight thousand feet up there I didn't have too hard of a time, but I think it's because I'm, I'm here and it's just my body's getting used to it. So I don't know what else to say. So if you hear me, there we go. Yeah. So if you hear me like kind of breathing hard, like trying to get a deep breath, this is the elevation in about two weeks. I'm sure I will get used to it. I'm going to get washed up now. And I've got my collapsible and I've got my wash rag. So all I have to do is reach over and grab my water. If I need my garbage, it's right there. And I got my wipes right here. Everything else I've got right here. Just a little bit of water. I don't use a lot. This is a drawer I keep all of my um, cleaning products in. <clears throat> now I've already brushed my teeth. 
I don't think you want to watch me brush my teeth, right? But I do take out my earrings. I'll just get ready here. Yeah, I don't like to sleep with earrings in. I use CeraVe. I wash my face. There we go. It's a routine. Wash my face. It's very easy. Keep everything right there. So in the morning, when I get dressed, I'm in northern Arizona, so it is, it's still cold up here. So I've got long sleeves on. It's 70 degrees in here. It's actually perfect in here right now. Rinse it off. Do like Mama told me, rinse, wash behind your ears. <laughs> there we go. Okay, my tea tree oil, I'll put a little bit more, a little bit more water in there, put about four drops of tea tree oil, and then I'm going to wash all the way down. Okay. So this is how I manage nighttime living in my minivan. Now, Paul is right next to me. I don't see any light coming through, so it's gonna be really dark when I turn off the lights, which is gonna help me sleep really well. Also saw Travel Grandma with two other gals that I met and they're parked on the other side of me. So it's very cozy here. There's a real community and Max is in Flagstaff also. So there's a real community going on here. A lot more travelers will be moving into Flagstaff soon. It's, it's fun, it's cozy. This is how I manage. This is how I deal with the nighttime. 
Now I'm going to go to sleep because I do want to get up early because I want to go work out. And I will probably, most likely, sleep all the way through the night. So I'll see you in the morning and I'll catch up with you and let you know how I did. Love you guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. Got a good night's sleep. Really good. I feel good this morning. Please subscribe and share this video if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. I know some of you have asked me, what do you do at night? How do you manage at night? Well, like I said, first of all, I find a spot, cover my windows, kind of sink in, enjoy my night with some movies, and or anything else that I need to do. Then I just slip under my blankets and I fall asleep. Thanks for spending time with me today. Till tomorrow.